Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from a very chilly Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Fall has finally fallen on uh, New England, at least uh, in southern New England. And um, today we have the moon uh, shifting from uh, Taurus into uh, Gemini. That occurs around 3.19 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. Um, we also have a important uh, aspect today. We have the Sun making its exact conjunction to Venus. Venus is retrograde. She has been retrograde. She'll be retrograde 40 days and 40 nights. Um, and she is at the point uh, where when the Sun conjuncts Venus, um, we're illuminated about something. And Venus retrograde deals with what is uh, of value to us or a reevaluation of what is of value to us. So we're questioning uh, what's important to us. Um, and of course, Venus being the, re um, the planet of relationship, relationship is right up there, our relationship to uh, all things, right? Our relationship to the people that we love, the people that we work with, the people, our friends, our lovers, our husbands, our wives, our sisters, our brothers, our children. It's a reevaluation of relationship. With the Scorpio um, energy, however, there is um, a reevaluation of the most intimate relationships, the relationships in which we share our uh, resources, we share our body, we share our emotions, and we share our psychic energy. Um, we could be thinking about old loves, we could be thinking about old relationships, uh, to come to understand them. Of course, Scorpio uh, deals with shadow material, and so we can be, we can find ourselves sort of reliving some of that. Now, Venus is close to the north node of, the, uh, excuse me, Venus is square, the nodes of the moon, and uh, Venus square in the nodes requires us to really look at our values, and uh, the resolution node for Venus square the nodes is the north node in Leo. And so we need to follow our hearts. It's almost about, it's about getting out of your head. Like, I think a lot of times in relationships, we have an idea of what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to look like. And uh, it's not actually what it is. And with the re relationship is about sharing a part of ourself. Now, of course, we could say we're all in this together and there's unity consciousness, but this is more about a personal sort of one-to-one -one love, the people that you decide to share uh, your everyday life with, perhaps, or the important stuff in your life. We can't, we can love everybody in an impersonal way, but we can't really love everybody in a personal way. It's not possible. Um, and so we're looking at, at those things and we're, we're examining the shadows and we're, we're, we're thinking. Um, but the really the way forward, the way forward is to follow your heart. And uh, part of that can be forgiveness. Part of that can be getting out of your head and just moving into your heart and allowing yourself to be there. Allowing yourself for the healing to happen by accessing what is in your heart. And sometimes what's in your heart is pain and betrayal. And those are things that you have to feel. If you don't feel them, you can't heal them. And so this is a challenging process. And now with the sun there, um, the sun kind of can take over. There's this sense of uh, being taken over by the sun because it's so bright. Um, but this is uh, really, in a way, Venus's journey into the hell realms. Venus is... Uh, is being uh, reborn, really. Um, perhaps we could think of it as uh, she, we're burning away the dross of um, our attachments, Venus in Scorpio, and we'll uh, come back out the other side freer and clearer and uh, purified. So if there's an area in your life that needs purification, this would be the time to do it. Now we still have uh, we still have the grand cross in the sky, the grand uh, fixed cross, so our emotions are still there. Um, 
we can still access it through through Saturn, through being responsible and and growing up and, and taking responsibility for ourselves. Um, but even even more than that, I, and now Venus will be opposing Uranus. Uh, that might actually happen tomorrow or the next day. Let me see. Actually, we have to wait till the 31st for that. Um, but we can feel that. We can feel the energy of Venus uh, opposite Uranus. We're reevaluating now by the time Venus does oppose Uranus on the 31st. If we haven't decided to break free from the things that hold us back, um, things will happen to help us do that. So it's better if you um, do it yourself. <laughs> Then you force Uranus to do it. Okay, so that's enough for today. Have a great day. I hope you uh, have a beautiful Friday. Be careful out there. It's still um, dicey at best when it comes to, you know, people's emotions. They're very raw. There's a lot of mental instability out there. Just be aware. Uh, we're all struggling. And uh, be kind to one another. Have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Like and subscribe. Ciao.